Welcome back to the Fighters Corner. John Garoski. Hey. And we have a special guest, Wes Sims. Whoa, look at this guy. Whole show. The project. Do you want telephone? All right, so um, I've known Wes for damn near 20 years, and uh, he's like the kid that your parents always told you you couldn't hang out with in grammar school. And to prove this point, so when you're close like Wes and I, sometimes you have secrets, right? Would you not agree? Many. Yeah. So, and you're sworn (laughs) to them. And it's one of those conversations like, John, I got to tell you something, dude, because I got to get something off my chest. And uh, this conversation is not leaving here. Okay. And you're like, okay, okay, go ahead. Uh Uh-huh. Keep going. Keep Uh going. And uh, today we're going to talk about one of those. (laughs) It's just between the three of us. Just between the three of us. All right. Okay, okay. So about, uh, about, I don't know, about two years ago? Okay, yeah. I'm having, like, sleep issues. And everyone keeps telling me to watch this documentary called Tickled, which is about this guy, uh, David Amato, who um, started this competitive endurance tickling organization and this documentary essentially is about this guy and like his project and how bizarre it is so i'm having issues sleeping about 3 30 in the morning it gets to a point where i'm gonna let wes explain where it gets to where i call him up i turn my phone off when i sleep you can get a hold of wes 24 7 this dude <laughs> does not turn his phone off and i took advantage of that so I called him up at like 3.30 in the morning. I must have rang the guy 25 times. That's what a superhero does. That's right. <laughs> right. So Wes picks up, and what do I tell you, Wes? Oh, I guess. Do you have HBO? You've got to turn on HBO. I said, Mike, I don't have HBO. It's I, I think you asked if I was drinking. I said, it's 3.30 in the morning. I said, what the hell? And my girl was like, Take the call. What's he want? There's something. It's gotta wrong. be important. It's three a.m. Yeah. Someone died. Some, someone dead. <laughs> I go. What? Mike? There's, there's a girl involved. Yeah. Something's happening. Pick up that phone. Put him on speaker. <laughs> he says, "Do you have HBO?" I go, "No." And I'm like, well, "I want to go order back to sleep. now." He goes, "Order it. Get it right now." I go, "No, I'm going to sleep." He goes, "No, you don't have to see this." Well, then he had my curiosity, and I go, "Why? Am I in it or something? What? What?" what? I wouldn't tell. Oh, him. you have to see this. I'm like, "What is it?" And he tells me, "Tickled." I'm like, "Oh, what the hell, dude?" So this documentary about a dude that tickles other dudes. Uh, order. It's three thirty in the morning. You got to order it. <laughs> didn't, didn't spark no memories or anything. Nothing crazy. But I thought, man, what the hell? So I ordered HBO right then. Yeah. Turn it on, and she's like, "You're not going back to sleep." I said, "I can't. I got to see what the hell this is about." What Wes has got OCD. When you plant a little seed like this, it just grows and grows and grows until he just he can't stand it, and he throws it out. So go ahead. So I'm watching this thing, and I'm I'm about an hour and a half into it. I think (laughs) can't sleep anymore. I can't sleep. I'm exhausted. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, so I, hell? I call him. I'm like, what? I'm, I'm calling him back. What the hell am I watching? This is stupid. I'm <laughs> going to turn it off. No, no, don't turn it off. <laughs> you haven't got there yet. All of a sudden, they go to a point in the show where this guy attends an MMA show in Michigan. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm at that show. Mark Coleman, myself, Dan Seven, we're all guests. And when I started putting things together, I'm like, oh, my God, this is the guy. This is him. This is, this him. is him. Did you know that he was on that show? Before? He wasn't. No, no, no. Oh, no. Keep going. What the I wasn't on that. I wasn't this gets good. in that documentary. Thank God. And I didn't want no part of that. Although I was encouraging him to. But, so. but <laughs> oh, boy. So this is just a happenstance that, like, let's put years, it this way. Years before this came out. Okay, okay. Here we uh, go. About 2006, 2007, I'd say okay. somewhere around there. I get these strange calls after that appearance. Hey, emails, and, I thought they were. And, well, emails first. It started with emails. Okay. And then, like, hey, I want to sponsor you. Call me at this number. I talked to this guy. <laughs> and he's like, hey. 
I'll sponsor you. I'll be your sponsor. I'll send you money up front. I'm thinking, yeah, all right. He's a sugar daddy now. Yeah. yeah. Was, so, was, what West calls was, dude, there's, he starts talking to me about this weirdo. And I'm like, yeah, all right, dude, just spin it, whatever, you know, okay. And then what do you ask me for, asked West, for like Mike's, a couple hours later? I asked for Mike's address because I think <laughs> I'm going to have anything that's sent is going to go to his house. He, he calls me up and he goes, yeah, dude, you know, uh, I got a bunch of T-shirts I want to send you. You're, you're large, right? <laughs> yeah, I got you covered, man. <laughs> I get this package from New York. <clears throat> and like the postage on it, I remember it was like it was like 50 some odd dollars. Just in postage. Just in postage. So that's been overnighted. It was almost as if somebody drove it right from the post office to my house. You know, at that, that type of rate. Right. So my ex-wife is calling, my now ex-wife is calling me up going, is Wes getting his mail sent here? And I'm like, no. So I go home and I call him up. He's like, I'm like, I got a package. And Wes is like. Nuh-uh. He always does this. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Like, that's his move, you know? Like, the, Nuh-uh. No, you didn't. I'm like, yeah, I did, dude. Nuh-uh. Open it up. I open it up. Go ahead, dude. Cash money. <laughs> dude, there's 2500 bucks in there. Jeez. So, Wes is just like, there's no way. I was ecstatic because at my at time in life, I mean, 2500 is like a million. Yeah, okay. The fighter life when Wes was in the UFC was uh, very difficult. Yeah, you know, I can imagine. Broke, would you say? Uh, you're broke. You're constantly doing something just to make ends meet. Yeah. Wes, what years were you in the UFC? 2004. Um, we went back. Fought in the Ultimate Fighter, which was in, back in 2009 then. Okay, so but, a good five years but, that you were in, yeah. in and out. In and out. Okay. Right. So I get this package. He's, he's like doubting me. I'm having to take pictures of it. You know, I got like a flip phone, so I'm just like, you know, you know <laughs> taking pictures of it. He's just like, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. And then he goes, so what do I do now? Yeah, because I'm like, oh, man, I don't know. I mean, I didn't sign nothing. I just, hey. Give me your address, he tells me. So I'm thinking, oh, man, I'm owing this guy something. I don't know what's, what's next. 